Hello, everyone. The story trailer of Shadow of the Earth Tree is finally released and gives us more important details about the Land of Shadow. This video will speculate the story of DLC based on the available information. The whole trailer has two parts. The second part basically synchronize with main story in the base game, showing the visual design of Maquella and Saint Trina, Maquella's footprints that look like a rune pillars, and some new NPCs. According to a cut NPC, Saint Trina can be considered as Maquella's other self. The recent interview also reveals that Saint Trina will make an appearance in the DLC. So the Maquella part would soon be no secret once we set foot on the DLC. We will focus more on the first part, which is more crucial to the story setting. The first part begins with one certain follower retelling Maquella's words. Mikula the Kind spoke of the beginning. The seduction and the betrayal. An affair from which gold arose. And so too was Shadow born. According to the IGN interview in February, the land of Shadow has become physically disconnected to the lands between. Meanwhile, the ancient ruins widespread in the lands between also appear in the land of Shadow. So we can assume that the gold here refers to the lands between symbolized by the Erd Tree, while that Shadow refers to the land of Shadow symbolized by the Shadow Tree. Then, by comparing the ornaments, we can basically confirm that the character holding the golden threads is Queen Marika the Eternal. Therefore, the affair may refer to this scene in the trailer, where Marika is holding the golden threads to separate the two lands. The gold and shadow are born together. Actually, similar theme has been featured in other from software games. In the prologue of Dark Souls. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold. Life and death. And of course, light and dark. Then, when did the separation of two lands take place? Here I present a detail from the game's original Japanese text, which may help us answer this question. In the Japanese version, the war event in the history of the lands between can be divided into three categories. According to the Japanese Wikipedia, Senso can be seen as the sum of a series of Senyaku. Senso, Senyaku, and Sun. Of all the war events, only two are referred to as Senso. Koijin Senso, the war against the giants, and Haisai Senso, the shattering. Therefore, we can assume that the former may represent more than just the Erd Tree's fight against the fire giants, potentially including the First and Second Leonian War, the War of the Ancient Dragons, the Siege of Castle Morn, and Lord Godfrey's one-on-one -on -one battle with the Storm Lord. Which basically refers to the Age of Godfrey, when the Erd Tree initiated and completed the conquest of the lands between. The Age of Radagon that followed is a peaceful time of the Golden Order. And then came the Shattering, a period when Queen Marika was nowhere to be found, since Marika was likely to be involved in the battle shown in the trailer. This part of the story probably took place during the war against the giants. The war that the trailer shows next is only described with the kanji sen in Japanese, without clarifying whether it's a senso or senyaku. With the narrator saying that this unseen war closely followed the beginning, which caused the separation of gold and shadow, this unseen war should be at the early stage of the war against the giants. In this scene, the container from which Marika drew the golden thread looks like a compiled pouch. Human body parts seem to be inside it. But there are no specific emblems on this pouch, it is difficult to confirm anything more about it. As for the golden threads, 
They remind me of this cut item, a circlet made by hair. Perhaps these threads are really someone's hair. Well, there are so few clues that I have to guess. In the next scene, Marika was holding these golden threads. Standing against the wind between two huge walls made up of the countless bloody corpses. We can see similar picture in the boss fight with Rikard. Based on the different sceneries inside and outside the wall. This place could be the passage connecting the lands between and the land of shadow. So Marika might be closing this passage with the golden threads to separate the two lands. Perhaps this place will be the end of the journey for us and Maquella in the DLC. As for the beginning, the seduction and the betrayal. We know nothing about seduction for now, but betrayal is no stranger to us. In Elden Ring, the snake is the traitor to the Erd Tree. And it's well known that the snake is also the symbol of seduction in some religions. This leads us to the protagonist of the next scene. What followed was a war unseen. One that could never be put to song. A purge without grace or honor. The tyranny of Mesmer's flame. In the Famitsu interview, Miyazaki made such a comment on this promo poster. The chair where Mesmer is sitting is the same as the chair in the main story's fight against Morgoth, the Omen King. So he is also on the same level as Godric, Melenia, Radon and Rikard, also called Child of Marika. In my opinion, what Miyazaki actually means is that Mesmer can be considered as a demigod. Mesmer, the demigod who entwines the twin serpents, has initiated a special military operation. He drove the wicked men as well as his armies to burn a city down and commit massacre. The fire snake's Mesmer seems to be controlling look like Rikard's Renker. In the video about the gameplay trailer, we had analyzed that Mesmer's flame is a combination of flame and death, taboo for the Erd Tree. The source of this skill is very likely to be the Glomide Queen. She was once Marika's rival as an Empyrean, but was eventually defeated by Malekith. The Black Flame lost its true power when destined death is sealed away, and the Hex of Jelmia has lost. Afterwards, Rikard breathed new life into the legacy of the Glomide Queen. He not only revived the Serpent Belief and accepted the Godskins, but also altered the Black Flame. Rikard's Rancor, the terrible power of Rikard, also expresses the core of Black Flame. The combination of death and flame. So, does the betrayal mean that Mesmer, the child of Marika, has turned to the Glomide Queen and become a traitor to the Erd Tree? The trailer later shows the enemy Mesmer faced in this war. An omen lion dancer is about to bite Mesmer, and Mesmer responds by igniting flames from his hand. In the next scene, the lion has already been impaled by Mesmer. As you can see from the official images, both the Lion Dancer and the Wicker Man have a feature of the Omen Horns. But the Erd Tree Force led by Marika has always been intolerant of the Omen. So this scene now looks like a civil war of Omen cultural background. Moreover, this unseen war has been described as a purge, which suggests that the military action initiated by Mesmer was more like a coup. His position becomes more and more confusing. Did he really betray the Erd Tree? Let's review the first line of the trailer. Mikuela the Kind spoke of the beginning. Both the beginning and the war unseen are what the followers heard from Mikuela. If we consider the time point of these events to be in the early part of the war against the giants, it is unlikely that Mikuela, who was born by Radagon and Marika, would have experienced that period of time in person. So Mikuela has too heard these things from someone else. Though the snake betrayed the Erd Tree thing has been universally acknowledged by the folk. It does not necessarily reflect the truth. If one were to watch this trailer for the first time, one might assume that Mesmer the traitor initiated a vicious betrayal to the Erd Tree, and thus Marika discarded this demigod by sealing him into the land of shadow. 
However, it is the lion dancer of the Omen cultural background who were impaled by Mesmer in this war. Also, in the gameplay trailer, Mesmer himself is talking about the Lordship Sension, in front of a statue of Marika carrying a child. He himself seems to believe that he is still loyal to Marika. This is his subjective expression. If Marika initiated the separation of the two lands at the same time that Mesmer started the Unseen War, then naturally those in the know would have been sealed along with it. It makes sense that the inhabitants who stayed in the lands between would simply think that Mesmer was a traitor. So in my opinion, the story may go like this. Mesmer is actually a double agent. Firstly, he pretended to betray the Erd Tree by turning to its enemies, the Glomide Queen Force and those of the Omen cultural background. Later, with Marika's separation of the two lands, Mesmer betrayed his new friends and massacred those of the Omen culture background. Eventually, the Land of Shadow, a gathering place of the defeated, has been physically disconnected from the lands between. Mesmer then became the warden of this massive Evergale. In the Land of Shadow, there are these interleaving tree reliefs, which is described as bold in the description of Cross Tree Tower Shield. Then perhaps the Erd Tree and the Shadow Tree were intertwined before the two lands were separated. Later, the intertwined trees separated into Gold and Shadow with the seduction and betrayal. As to whether it's the Shadow Tree or the Erd Tree that Mesmer raises his spear to honor. And what exactly is he loyal to? We'll need to find out in the DLC. Finally, I would like to discuss the possible locations of this unseen war from the presence of the Omen Lion Dancer. The war seems to be taking place in the city with the spiral columns. However, given its position relative to the Shadow Tree, it is more likely that this is the city where Mesmer is stationed in the Land of Shadow. In the Unseen War part of the trailer, we do not see the Shadow Tree or the Erd Tree until Mesmer raises his spear to honor. Naturally, there is no way to know the relative positions of the other angles, so I could not tell more theories here. But, if the intertwined trees theory really holds true, then the relationship between this city and Laindal would be worthy of discussion. Well, that's all I can tell for now. As to the rest of the trailer, like the crest on the armor of Mesmer's soldiers and the identity of the woman in this scene, it is hard to find anything worth discussing. The Marika part at the beginning also hides information through the occlusion and light effects. We can't tell if she's wearing a ring or not. Okay, that is all of this video. Thanks very much for your watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. See you in the land of shadow. Will you walk with us?